Mori 1.3 supports dynamic tessellation or displacement. Dynamic tessellation displacement is a feature which is unique to Mori 1.3. Displacement is a technique for adding detail to the surface of an object by pushing and pulling it using a texture map. It adds interesting features without adding more triangles to your model. By showing the model with displacement applied, the artist has much more information and control while painting. When the model is finally rendered, it will have displacement applied and the surface would appear bumpy. And painting on a flat surface is difficult and an unintuitive task for the artist. The displacement gives the artist more information which they need to actually create better textures, allowing them to do a better job quickly. To use Dynamic Tessellation Preview, what we first need to do is draw a grayscale mask for our texture. In this case, I've simply made myself a color channel and I've made myself a disk broad channel. What I need to do is bring in the required texture mask to place onto the barrel of my gun. I go into my image manager and I activate my paint through using the hotkey U on the keyboard. I've brought in my Mori PNG. What I do is resize this to fit the barrel of my gun and simply paint this into the buffer. What we need to do then is transform this into a white image. So we need to go into filters, hue, and lower the saturation. We need to activate this on our painting. Click apply. Bake this into our channel and get rid of our buffer. What we then need to do is apply a blur just to smoothen this out. Apply this to our current channel. That should be more than enough. Just a little bit lower. Click apply. This loose gives us a smoother mask so we don't get any kind of bumpy edges. What we then need to do is go into our shaders. I'm going to create a brand new shader. All we need to do is change this to color, speaking of yellow. And then what we then need to do is add a shader module. We can see we have a displacement preview located in our stack. It gives you a description of how to use it and exactly what it does. Click OK. What we need to do is program this to go into the disk broad and we need to lower the texture weight. There we go, 85 should do us. We can now see we have a displacement preview of our Mori logo on our gun. This gives us much more detail on how to actually apply a paint layer when we go to our final stages of applying a displacement map to our render. So we can now see how the texture interacts with the geometry. If we zoom in here, we can see that applying the displacement preview does not actually generate more polygons. If we turn to our side, we can see we are fully raised off the model itself. What we can also do with our controls is invert so I want you to push the Mari logo as an inverted mask inside of my model. I can do so as well. I do simply lower my texture weight. You can see that the model has been changed. If I turn invert off by increasing my texture weight, I can forcefully keep on subdividing the displacement and the tessellations and what I can now do is raise my logo completely off our model and get much more detail depending on what weight your displacement map is supposed to be.
Now I can continue texturing and position my Mario logo on top of my Mario gun.